In this project, I have made a remote controlled car that is controlled using ROS. Robot Operating System is an open source platform that provides services including hardware abstraction, low level device control, message passing between processes, and package management. The hardware requirements for the project are chases of your choice, wheels and caster wheel, two DC motors to rotate the wheels, L293D motor driver to control the DC motors, Arduino Uno, jumper wires, two XBS2C, one as a transmitter and the other as a receiver, XB dongles to connect the XBs to computer and the Arduino, 9V batteries with DC jack. The softwares used are ROS running on Ubuntu, Arduino IDE, XCTU software to configure the XBs as coordinator and end device. Let's have an overview. There are two ROS nodes running. One is Teleop Twist Keyboard which is the publisher and CMDV Listener which is the subscriber. The publisher publishes to the topic CMDV and CMDV Listeners, the subscriber, subscribes CMDV topic. The messages are of type geometry messages that is twist messages. The twist messages are responsible for linear and angular velocity of any board. Twist has X, Y and Z components of linear and angular velocities. The subscriber node receives information while subscribing to the CMDV topic and it passes the information from the coordinator XB connected to the computer to the router XB which is connected to the Arduino. The motor driver which is connected to the Arduino now is responsible for the wheels to move. Let us configure the two XBs. Pick an XB to configure it as the coordinator. Connect the XB to the computer using XP Explorer dongle. Now launch the XCTU software. The first thing to do is to set the PAN ID. This PAN ID should also be same for the router module. Only then will they be able to communicate with each other. Now enable the API mode. API means application programming interface. The advantage of API mode over AT mode is that we can configure the XBs remotely. Now set the DH and DL values. The DH and DL values are the first and second part of the serial number of the XBs. The DH value will be same for both the coordinator and router modules. The DL value that we are setting for coordinator is that of the router modules address. Now to configure the router module, connect the router module to the computer. Set the ID for this as that of the coordinator. Enable the API mode for router module also. But do not enable the coordinator as this is the router module. Set the DH and DL values. The DL value of this router module is that of the coordinator XB's address. Also note the my address of the router module. The DH, DL and my address will be useful while creating the ROS node. The last step is to write these settings onto the XB module. After programming the Arduino, assemble the hardware. Connect the motor driver to Arduino. While connecting the router XB module to the Arduino, make sure you give proper connections. The 5V pin should go to the 5V pin, ground to ground. TX pin of Arduino should go to TX of XB and RX of Arduino should go to RX of XB. Using an XB shield for Arduino, will be much easier to make these connections. At the last, power the Arduino and DC motor using the batteries. After making the hardware connection successfully and programming the Arduino and configuring the XBs, the first thing to do is to run ROS core which is the master node. ROS core should be run before starting to run any other ROS node. Next. 
we'll run the publisher node till you have twist keyboard. And then we'll run the subscriber node which resides in the ROS RC car package in my system. CMD well listener is a subscriber node. Now as we enter the commands we can see the bot moving.